when we're trying to strengthen our knees, isometrics tend to be the first place that I go. One of the easiest way to do knee flexion isometrics is to use a bench, box, some sort of surface, and lay down on your back with your feet up. I like to start with hips and knees at 90 degrees. In this position, using one leg at a time, we are very slowly and gently, with control, going to use our knee and focus on our knee to push down with that same foot, digging the heel into the bench. We want to use some control because we don't want to give zero to 100 all at once. We want to gas pedal our way into that pressure and gently come out of it. There's a couple of things that can happen when you first start to do this. One is it might be really hard to focus on the power coming from the knee. Something that I see pretty often is when you start to push down, maybe that's the left leg, the left hip starts to creep up. Almost like we're very used to doing glute bridges. We want to, as best as we can, try to keep everything else as stable as possible. All of the focus for your brain should be thinking about the knee utilizing its strength to push the heel into the bench. So it's going to look something like this. The reason I like to have that control, slow pressure in and slow pressure out because if there's any pain and we shouldn't be working through that pain you can know at what percentage of your maximum effort is your threshold and only work up to there so we're not training through pain you want to strengthen these knees in all angles so 90 degrees is fantastic we also want to strengthen a little bit more than 90 degrees do those same one, one side at a time, push all the way in, and gently out. You can increase tension in the body as you get better and more comfortable, and you're really feeling as though it's coming from the knee. You can utilize the rest of the body, squeeze the fists, dig the elbows into the floor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We can then move back even farther. Still, there's a bend in the knees, and we can strengthen here as well. Same isometrics. We can do the same thing with a deeper degree of flexion in the knee, whether that's on the bench or you can do all those same degrees of knee flexion seated with feet out in front of you, one or both. And whether it's a wide angle, feeling as though you are using the knee, pushing the heel down into the floor and trying to pull towards you, and gently relaxing. You can do that in all angles, even here. Move this out of the way. Pushing the heel down into the floor, pulling it towards you, really thinking about the knee having that, see where the strength is coming from. Gently relax out of it. You can also do these while standing. Utilizing a box, a bench, a surface, a bed, whatever, in the same capacity. Whatever angle that you want to have in your knee, whether that's 90 or less than 90 or more than 90, adjust your stance accordingly. Pushing down and pulling towards you and relaxing. Level wise, laying on your back is going to be where you want to start. Seated or standing is going to be slightly harder and a little bit more intense. Slowly pushing into it with control at this point. By the time you're standing, we really want to make sure that the knee itself is doing all of the work and you're not getting too much compensation or too much help from the hips, the ankles, shouldn't feel anything in the low back, etc., etc., etc. And out of 
we're going to strengthen our knees with some isometric. 